Hey guys, welcome to Waterloo Labs. This time we're going to use electrodes, LabVIEW, and a single board Rio to play video games with our eyes. Did you know your eye is polarized? The back of your eye is more negative than the front of your eye because of a large population of neurons on your retina. As your eye moves, the electric field surrounding your eye will move as well. We can measure these voltages by placing electrodes on the left and right side of your face. So if I look one direction, we'd measure a positive change, but if I look the other, it'll register a negative change. Likewise, we can place electrodes on the top and bottom to measure looking up or down. Because the voltages we're dealing with are very small, there's a ground electrode placed behind the ear. This provides a reference with which to compare the other voltages. This type of measurement is called an electro-ocular gram. Now that we have these electrodes on my face, how are we actually going to turn that into a Nintendo signal? Let's take a look. This is a custom daughter card that we've created that has circuitry to filter and amplify that signal coming in. We'll then read it in on the bottom layer, which is the single board Rio real-time computer and FPGA. And on this Windows computer, we're able to display that data as it's coming in. We're able to send that data back out through our single board Rio through a custom cable we've made to our Nintendo. Ah, I was doing so well. Oh, oh. Oh. No, no, no. When building electronic devices that come into contact with the body, it is critical that any connections to the subject be isolated from large power sources such as wall sockets. This precaution is essential to reduce the risk of electrical shock. Failure to follow these recommendations could result in pain, serious injury, or death. <laughs>